Hey, David Brewster here in episode of Three for All, and this is three Dave Murray and Adrian Smith licks from 1986. And in case you haven't noticed yet, I did a little switcheroo this year for Metal Month, because last year I put together the chords of Iron Maiden chord play, and also a Glenn Tipton and KK Downing Three for All. And then this year I flipped it, and we did a Judas Priest chord play episode, and also a Richie Faulkner Three for All. And now we're going to look at some licks from Iron Maiden. And no offense to the third guitarist in Iron Maiden, Yannick Gers. And he actually started uh, playing with the band in 1990, and he appears on 10 different albums. So Adrian left the group, and then when he came back, they just became a three-guitar band. But this lesson's going to focus on the classic two-guitar era with Dave Murray and Adrian Smith. The licks in this lesson actually came from some live footage from 1986 when Maiden was on the Somewhere on Tour tour in support of Somewhere in Time. And there's some really interesting things happening, you know, in this concert footage. And I technically found this or discovered the footage last year when I was putting the Iron Maiden chord play together. So this, you know, solo has been on my back burner for a while. Honestly, in Iron Maiden's history, it was kind of rare to find Dave Murray and Adrian Smith doing a showcase guitar solo like this. You know, they typically played solos throughout every Iron Maiden song, and they didn't really do a solo, per se. But on this tour, I guess they, they added this to their tour. And it was nicknamed Walking on Glass, which the second half, when the drums come in, and the bass drum, bass drum's really just kind of doing this heartbeat, you know, bass drum pattern. But that's actually loosely based on Walking in the Air, which is from an animated show called uh, The Snowman. But the first part's just Dave Murray and Adrian Smith, you know, throwing out licks and stuff. Before we get to the licks, I wanted to point out one more thing that really impressed me when I saw this footage, you know, from this tour in that era. And I found clips from 86 and 87, and I noticed, you know, they continued to play this Walking on Glass guitar solo. But Adrian Smith was actually using a very early prototype guitar synth. You know, it's kind of a custom Jackson. And it has all these knobs over here. There's like a selector switch and a knob over here. And I was really impressed. Like, I was like, wow, this is early. You gotta think this is 1986. And Adrian embraced this kind of early guitar synth. So I tried to find, you know, information like what model, like was it from Roland or like who designed, you know, this custom guitar synth. But here's a little montage. You know, it's a little jerky because it's clips of Adrian kind of strumming these synth chords. But check this out. All right, the first look comes from Adrian Smith, and it's this melodic phrase, you know, during the beginning part of this guitar solo. Something like this. One more time. So right there, we're basically flirting with this double-picked, kind of implied A major triad right there. We're basically in B minor, you know, for this solo. Right there, he's kind of playing with this. Right? And that's basically A major right there. But he's coming down. One more time there. And right there, when he goes back to that E note, he dips his bar. And then he basically slide shifts this uh, D to C sharp, and then you want to pull off D to C sharp. And when you, after you do that slide, when you do the pull off, you're going to dip on that D note, pull off to C sharp, grab this B, and then you kind of do a lazy slide from E down to D, and then you want to dip your bar on this B note at the very end, just kind of smear it at the end. So really slow, it's like this. <laughs> The next lick comes from Dave Murray, and it's this melodic slip and slide lick, and we're still in B minor, but it's something like this. One more time. So be sure to use your neck pick 
pickup. That's kind of a signature, you know, pickup selection from Dave Murray. And also these kind of slide shifting and flutters, those kind of hammer on pull offs are also signature moves, you know, from Dave Murray. So we're still in B minor and we're gonna shift basically into this B note there on the B string. And then do a hammer on pull off right there between A and B. Then you wanna shift back into the box technically right there. basically going back and grabbing that F sharp and then hammering on pull off on that A note. And then you want to do a flutter right there too, like this. Right? And then you want to shift this uh, E into F sharp and you're going to kind of mimic that all the way through this lick, those little flutters. So you're doing... And then right there, you want to shift back to that D note flutter right there again, shift back to um, to that C sharp, and then right there you're going to basically uh, hammer and pull off that D note twice, and then he starts doing the slide from B to C sharp, so he kind of does that B, C sharp, B, C sharp, grabs D and ends on B right there on the D string, so really slow all the way through the lick, it's like this. Slipperly, uh, slippery kind of sound, which is a trademark of Dave Murray. But I love those phrases where he kind of moves between different positions. He's using those flutters and little shifts and slides. Really cool. Alright, the next lick comes from Adrian Smith and it's a speed lick. And it's actually broken up into three different parts, but it's pretty cool. Something like this. basically doing this and I, I noticed he wasn't using this pinky and I'm always trying to you know use my pinky whenever I can so right there we're basically you know you want to think of B minor pentatonic and he's really just doing this four note speed lick in the beginning like this and there I'm using my index pinky index and middle finger on that kind of descending pattern that eight times. Now I know Adrian was doing it like that without the pinky. You can definitely do it that way. But I kind of prefer to do it that way because my third finger is waiting for the next part which is this bending lick. But uh, you know that first section right there you're gonna do that eight times. And right there you're gonna change to a bending lick and it's still B minor pentatonic but it's like this. I'm gonna do that four times right there. Then he starts doing this kind of Van Halen uh, tap bend right there. So you're gonna bend this E up a whole step to F sharp. And you're gonna tap the 12th fret right there. Very reminiscent of uh, Eddie Van Halen's tap bending. And when you tap that G note, which is technically the 12th fret, when you have that string bent a whole step, that G is going to sound like an A. So that's the first tap bend. And then you're going to basically release that bend and bend it back up a whole step and then tap the 14th fret, which is normally an A note, but that string bent up a whole step, that's going to sound like a B, which is the key we're in, which is pretty crafty. And at the end, he really just kind of moves back and forth between that A and B. So that lick's uh, pretty involved because there's three different areas. But uh, one more time, kind of slow. This lick's pretty challenging because it has three different parts you have to tackle. And then when you put it all together, you know, it's a big challenge, but it's really cool. I 
And here's a bonus lick from the Slack footage, and it's this higher position uh, alien bass legato lick from Dave Murray. It's really cool, like this. <laughs> in B Aeolian or B natural minor. And right there, we're basically shifting into this F sharp and then climbing up the scale. And he does this hammer on pull off there on the B string between that C sharp and D like that. And you're kind of mimicking that up on the high E between that F sharp and G. So you're kind of doing a similar thing, but on a different string. And when you climb up to that A note, you want to bend that up a whole step to B. And after you do that bend up, you're going to basically do this uh, G, A, G, hammer on pull off, and then F sharp, G, F sharp, hammer on pull off. And then you want to grab this E note and bend that up a whole step. And then you're going to do that hammer on pull off uh, move again. This D to E to D, and then C sharp, D to C sharp. So you're doing this. Note right there on the G string. So really slowly, it's like this. Play one more time up to speed. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. I guess this is a bonus, bonus lick again. But this is the harmonized guitar part, like right in the middle of this walking on glass guitar solo. So the first half, you know, Adrian was going back and forth between his guitar synth and his guitar tone. And he and Dave were kind of trading licks and, and you know, the solos back and forth. Then they come together and they play this harmonized thing. And then after this, that's when it moves into the walking in the air, you know, theme from the Snowman movie. But uh, it's really interesting and they're both playing something a little bit different. But when they come together and harmonize, it's magic. So here's Adrian's part. basically grabbing one note you know all the way down the high E string and then he's doing this kind of pull off hammer on on uh, the B string so the first pattern right there and you keep hearing that open B string in there right and then just basically move down and you're doing the modified version of that that down a whole step and do it again and go back to the original shape right there with that uh, F sharp and that A note and that G and E right there and that F sharp and D move back up to that G and E and then back up to that A and F sharp so it has this very almost kind of baroque kind of classical sound it reminds me of something you might hear like on a harpsichord or an organ or something so there's adrian's part and he basically moves that up and down and then dave murray is doing a variation of that and his part is up here <laughs> So his part, you're basically doing that double picked, you know, kind of open B string in there too, because you're pulling off and doing that. And you want to do that all the way down that pattern. Now, if you 
put both those parts together, which I'm going to use the TC Electronic Ditto Looper to kind of recreate this. But here's Adrian and Dave's part together. <laughs> That's going to wrap this look at three Dave Murray and Adrian Smith licks from 1986. And really, Iron Maiden is just, you know, legendary. They influenced the entire world and reshaped and kind of redirected metal music for the masses. Because really, in the early days, you know, Black Sabbath and Deep Purple, you know, they hit the scene. They had this dark and heavy and loud sound. But really, when Iron Maiden kind of stepped up to bat, you know, Steve Harris was pulling out lyric ideas, you know, from literature and historical figures and Alexander the Great and all this stuff. And they really did, like, validate metal. And it made everybody stop and realize, okay, metal's not really just this sludgy kind of devil music. You can sing songs about wars and battles and, his, you know, history and all sorts of stuff, literature. And it's really, you know, it's interesting to notice how they just opened up this book or they opened the door. And then all these bands and musicians just ran through it because that door was closed for a long time. And Iron Maiden definitely helped kick it open. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Night Lessons and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.